My name is Jay Lucas and I work for Howard Farms in Rockville, Virginia. I've been working here for 13 years and I'm the farm manager. We're running 300 mama cows and we're just a hay and pasture farm with commercial cow based operation. We're farming somewhere between 2,000 to 2,500 acres of land. That's including all of our hay ground, pasture ground. I've been farming my whole life. Been around cows, been around farm equipment. It's my passion. It's what I get up every morning to do. I'm not a working inside people person anymore. I'd rather be out enjoying God's beauty and enjoying the calves being born, the cows grazing, just enjoying the life that I was blessed with. We've been working with Southern States on our farm has for 30 plus years. When it comes to the pasture management side, we emphasize on soil testing to find out exactly what we're lacking. Having the ability to know what the grasses need to continue to grow, to provide the pasture for the cows to graze. So with having a soil test, you know if you need to add the nitrogen or add the potash or what it also does, it allows you not to over fertilize or over lime that can also be at a disadvantage because you can be putting too much of one thing when you need to be adding more to another. And also with identifying the weeds that are in your pasture, it helps to better manage the grass that you do have to allow the cows to be able to graze efficiently and not have to worry about some weeds are toxic to the cows. And with being able to spray during the seasonal times, you can catch your early spring weeds and you have some summer weeds and then you have fall weeds. And being able to stay on top of them also allows your grass to thrive throughout the year. And with being able to spray and fertilize and take control of your pasture, you're able to rotate your cows, to have the grass that you need to carry you through till winter time, till you have to start feeding the forage and hay that you have made prior in the spring throughout the summer. With us working through southern states and applying the pasture management skills that they offer to us, we're able to control the amount of weed versus grass ratio to where we can control the weeds at an earlier stage to where the grass can still thrive early instead of having the weeds shadow the grass out or choke your grass out to where when you do or are able to come in and spray that you're not looking at a bunch of bare spots throughout your field and then there's no grass. If there's no grass, there's no food value. So with controlling and stabilizing your ground to where it's a healthy, it's food enriched soil, it's more beneficial than allowing the weeds to completely take over and control everything that you have put into it.